Today I will talk about Pituitary Tumors Tumors of the anterior pituitary are more common than those of the posterior pituitary and hypothalamus. The most common of the anterior pituitary tumors are adenomas, primary and metastatic carcinomas being rare. Craniopharyngioma and granular cell tumor, chorostoma, are the other benign pituitary tumors found occasionally. All pituitary tumors, whether benign or malignant, cause symptoms by following two ways. 1. Pressure effects. These are caused by expansion of the lesion, resulting in destruction of the surrounding glandular tissue, by pressure atrophy. This causes erosion and enlargement of cella turcica. Upward extension of the tumor damaging the optic chiasma, optic nerves, neurohypophysis and adjacent cranial nerves. And rarely, downward extension into the nasopharynx. 2. Hormonal effects. Depending upon their cell types, pituitary adenomas produce excess of pituitary hormones and the corresponding clinical syndromes of hyperpituitarism. Infarction and destruction of adenoma may cause symptoms of hypopituitarism. Pituitary adenomas. Adenomas are the most common pituitary tumors. They are conventionally classified according to their H and E staining characteristics of granules into acidophil, basophil and chromophobe adenomas. However, this morphologic classification is considered quite inadequate because of the significant functional characteristics of each type of adenoma including the chromophobe adenoma, which on H and E staining does not show visible granules. As a result of advances in the ultrastructural and immunocytochemical studies, a functional classification of pituitary adenoma has emerged. Morphologic features. Grossly, pituitary adenomas range in size from small foci of less than 10 mm in size, termed microadenoma, to large adenomas several centimeters in diameter, greater than 1 cm called macroadenomas. They are spherical, soft and encapsulated. Histologically, by light microscopy of H and E stained sections, an adenoma is composed predominantly of one of the normal cell types of the anterior pituitary, i.e. acidophil, basophil or chromophobe cells. These cells may have following three types of patterns. 1. Diffuse pattern is composed of polygonal cells, arranged in sheets with scanty stroma. 2. Sinusoidal pattern consists of columnar or fusiform cells, with fibrovascular stroma around which the tumor cells are arranged. 3. Papillary pattern is composed of columnar or fusiform cells, arranged about fibrovascular papillae. Functionally, most common pituitary adenomas, in decreasing order of frequency, are lactotroph, PRL secreting, adenoma, somatotroph, GH secreting, adenoma and corticotroph, ACTH secreting, adenoma. Infrequently, mixed somatotroph lactotroph, GH PRL secreting, adenoma, gonadotroph, FSHLH secreting, adenomas and null cell, endocrinologically inactive, adenomas or oncocytoma are found. Plurihormonal pituitary adenoma, on the other hand, may have multiple hormonal aberrations. Functional classification of pituitary adenoma can be done by carrying out specific immunostains against the hormone products.